I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper. And I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves Handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now, he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, 
about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Another one of my many talents. If you find the need to adjust your perspective on things, you can move the camera around using the Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Press the circle button while jumping to it. Avoid those choppers fly. If they see you now, we're busted. I think I can handle that. Bentley, was was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? Ooh. Of course not. Murray's the proper route is through the back alley. La la. Uh, uh, no reason. Anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay cable fly. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. It looks like the perfect night for a heist. <laughs> Sure feels good to be back in business. <laughs> Looks like security is really beefed up tonight. That was too close. Alright, that flagpole looks like it leads right to the roof. See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. I can't believe the security at this place. This better be worth it. I think of your assignment up here. There are some important shipments coming in. This is what we have been working for. We must make sure this project and the United States are on for the future. 
Looks like somebody spent a fortune on this place. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Careful now, that's the skyline we want. Move slowly until you're when you're close enough. Press the circle button to pick his pocket. You might have to. To perform the stealth slam, sneak him up. Great fly. Now's the key key to unlock the skylight. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Hey, shit fly. At Rush Rush Greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking. Interesting. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. My mom should make short work of that grate. I just need to press... Well, oh, that was a blast. <laughs> Who says turtles are slow? That's a big jump. I better use the hover pack here. If I thank you, technology. Great, that platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. If I that's a direct hit. If I fall in that filthy water, I'm buying a new shell. the schematics, the control room is right underneath. And voila! Instant shortcut! <laughs> Phew! Talk about your close shaves! How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great! Perfect! I'll be done in a jiffy! Next time, I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Now for a patented Bentley hack attack. Hello, old friend. We have to reach the main docking gate before the security code flushes us from the system. The left stick should navigate the ship. The right stick should control the bit cannon. The bit cannon can blast right through that firewall. Bit cannon performing well. Moving while firing is key to cracking this system. This lock requires a data key. Bingo! This data key should fit that lock. Dang it! This reinforced firewall is too strong for the bit cannon. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer code. Oh yeah! Time to bring out the big guns, baby! These Gigabob shells will crush those firewalls! Security 
throat! I can either dodge them or blast them! Looks like I can only grab the data key with my shell coat! I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat the firewall! Alright! I can use this data key to disable that firewall! And that's the way the code base crumbles! Okay, Murray, you're up! The Murray is always on, Bentley! Okay, Murray, we need to get you back in fighting shape. Why don't you warm up with a few basic attacks? Press the square button to punch! Oh, yeah! The old muscle memory is really kicking in! Press the hold the triangle button to charge up and release it for a wicked spinning attack! Yes! Nobody can withstand the pink tornado! New perform a thunderflop, jump, then press the triangle button while in the air! Oh, thunderflop! How I missed you! With the Murray, and you're going down. Oh. Let the beat down commence. from short stuff <laughs> Sly, the security system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. What the? You didn't really think you were going to get away with it, did you, Ringtail? <laughs> hey, Carmelita! Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief. I'm locking you up for good. Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly. 
Now quit zapping around and get down here! We're in the van and ready to roll! Au revoir. Let's hit it! Buckle up, boys! Oh yeah! Just like in a demolition derby! Look out! Whoa. I think I cracked myself! Watch out for those trees! Where are you going? Just setting up for the jump! Welcome to Air Murray! Thanks for flying! Nice landing, Murray. Hey, Bentley, not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated. Adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. You got it, chum! Do not slow down, Murray! I never do! Whoa! Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is... complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to... hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo, to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we travel. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip.